Thanks a lot, Sam. Standing by, as you mentioned, with trainer George Ducharm of uh, Royalty for Life, of course. And uh, first things first, George, we're going to talk about a uh, colt you've just gotten into your barn, actually coming up in race five tonight, uh, stakes division of the uh, Bluegrass. Muscle Midas, uh, the connection's obviously a bit high on this guy. They raced him in the well where they're in Canada. Yes, they are. Gates asked me to take him out here for the two weeks because he has New York Sire Stakes in Vernon to finish up with all the finals. So I've only had the horse four or five days. It seems like a nice colt, and hopefully he'll hold his own in here. Tough division tonight, obviously, when you uh, drew in with uh, Father Patrick. Speak the truth, it is a t certainly maybe the deepest division on the card. Yeah, it'll be a big test for him, but hopefully he puts on a good show and, and improves off of what he's been doing. Good deal. We'll look forward to uh, that. And uh, obviously going to ask you about royalty for life. Just been the uh, sensational three-year-old trotter in the country. He's certainly established himself as the uh, best of the best. What in action this week? When can we expect to see him next? He'll be in the Futurity next Sunday. We just gave him an extra week off to freshen up so we can race the two heats and then go back to the Breeders' Crown eliminations after that. And speaking of that, of course, the Futurity two heats here. Any concern going to two heats and then six days later turning around to the Breeders' Crown Elim? Well, it's not real convenient, but those are the rules we all got to play by this year, so we'll all be in the same boat. All right, well, good deal. Best of luck. We certainly look forward to seeing Royalty for Life. Again, he'll be in next weekend, third leg of the Trotting Triple Crown, the Kentucky Futurity. We're going to send it back upstairs to you, Sam.